Now, last night on ITV News Meridian, we saw patients suffering from COVID-19 at Tunbridge Wells Hospital. Some were struggling to survive. Sadly, one at least did not. No, that was very sad. And tonight we look at the staff caring for these patients. There are fears frontline NHS workers could suffer lasting mental scars from their tireless work during this pandemic. Doctors and nurses have told us they are tired and struggling to cope with an influx of patients that's far greater than during the crisis last spring. In his second report from inside the hospital's intensive care unit, our reporter Kit Bradshaw has been speaking to those healthcare workers and asking them how they cope day to day. He's on 35% oxygen, so it's blowing much more oxygen into his lungs than we normally have. 60-year-old Jesus Gakuma first noticed something was wrong when he lost his sense of taste. Now he needs a CPAP machine to help keep his airway open. He's keen to warn others of the dangers. Be careful with the COVID, it's very, very bad. Yeah. You can eat you slowly. Okay? You don't know what will happen. You'll be scared. Yeah. Well, the bypass, bypass was COVID before. He's critically ill with coronavirus. Two other members of his family have also tested positive. And you're looking forward to seeing your wife and children again? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's go to diet. <laughs> Many on the red intensive care unit are in an even worse way, sedated and with ventilators breathing for them. At the other end of Tunbridge Wells Hospital is the green ICU, which is also extremely busy. All these patients in these bays, they're non-COVID patients? Yes, they are. Jane Sansom is the matron in charge of both units. She tells me the toll the second wave is taking on staff is immense. I think unless you're experiencing it every day, I don't think anyone could, I don't think we could have imagined how hard it was going to be um, for, for everybody, for all the nurses and all the, the rest of the teams that are working here. I don't think we could have imagined how hard it was going to be. Incredibly tough for you and your colleagues. Yeah, yeah, really. And, and I think long term there will be effects from that. I think as much as you can do to support staff, you can't protect them from what's going to happen and what they're seeing at the moment. Dr Andy Taylor was part of a British team sent to Africa in 2014 to help tackle the Ebola outbreak. I went to Sierra Leone for six weeks. I knew that at the end of that six weeks I had a flight home and that at that stage Ebola was not in the UK. Whereas here at the moment, Covid is in my home. I, I go home and I'm still in the Covid environment. I come to work, I'm still in the Covid environment. It's been a long struggle so far. It feels relentless. Okay, with Tracy Crouch. Earlier today, a Kent MP raised her fears with Boris Johnson. The Prime Minister will be aware that the second wave of coronavirus has had a sec significant impact on the mental well-being of frontline nurses and doctors, with many in critical care units facing continuous shifts with dismal survival rates, causing a level of psychological harm that may result in PTSD. I've worked in the NHS for over 30 years and I've never seen anything like this. This hospital is just a decade old, but its archives still hold written accounts of how clinicians responded to the last pandemic in 1919. The second wave has been the most enormous challenge. I think the way that the staff have just pulled together has been absolutely extraordinary and I go out onto the wards, I spend time working as a support worker um, and people are dealing with the most extraordinary challenge and yet their spirits are high and they are all of them determined to do their very best for every single patient that comes through and I personally find that a really humbling experience. The daily number of new Covid admissions here is now declining but many are still seriously unwell and it may be some time yet before the lasting psychological consequences on those caring for them become clear. Kit Bradshaw, ITV News at Tunbridge Wells Hospital. And all of us here at ITV News Meridian want to thank the staff at the Maidstone and Tunbridge Wells NHS Trust for all they're doing and for allowing our cameras to see the extraordinary circumstances they're enduring. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much.